Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at the M-Gear Gadget Wallet 3.0. So as you can see, I've got the Everyday Tactical Vids logo right there on my wallet, and lots of cool features, how you can customize this wallet to whatever you want. I'm going to walk you through my wallet and then also through the process so you can see what it looks like to actually build your own wallet. All right, so I'll start off and give you some of the details on the wallet. You have a one to five card capacity, so obviously up to five credit cards or credit card sized items. You also have a place you can hold cash in the back, which is cool. So you got a space for your cards and also for cash. Obviously, you can see the accessory holder on the side. We'll talk about that in a minute. You can get a variety of different tools from M Gear. You can see it says scraper right here. It's because I've got one of their tools right here inside, and we'll talk about that in a minute. In addition to like a Fresnel lens, other things like that, you can get a survival guide that goes into this. Um, the general frame of this is high strength uh, aluminum, so that's nice, you have carbon fiber, as you can actually see just by looking here. Um, it does have RFID blocking cards, which is nice, obviously, to keep your, uh, keep your information safe. You get a flexible nylon band on the back there. You do get an additional one to replace if you wanna do that. They say high strength screws, basically, it's gonna be solid. It's not gonna just break on you is what they're trying to communicate there. So let me take you through my wallet. Obviously you can see I've got the Everyday Tactical Vids logo there, which is pretty awesome. They did a great job with that. Um, we have the flashlight here on the side. Now you can get this actual flashlight or a different one. This is from Mgear IO, that's their website. As you can see, you can pull it out to have different um, intensities of the beams, more of a flood versus more of a spot. I'll just show you real quick here. So turn it on. That's the tighter beam. That's the wider beam. I think this runs off one AAA if I remember correctly. Double check here. Pop this out. Yeah, one AAA. So that's nice. Um, you've got this leather loop, and so you can run your little flashlight like that. So maybe you're like, um, I don't need a flashlight because I already have my own flashlight. For example, I've got this Olight here. This is one of the i3T EOSs that fits in there as well. So that's cool. Maybe you're like, I don't want a flashlight. I just want a uh, like a Fisher Space Pen. Obviously, it's bigger than it needs to be, but with a little hook there, you can throw that in. So you got that. And we'll talk about pens in a minute. I was like, could you, could you fit this in? This is a little bit too small. This is one of the, um, I think it's called the Nano Spark, maybe. And yeah, it's a little, you know, um, fire starting tool from Exotac. So you can see it is a little bit big there to have the flashlight and then swap it out for something like this. If you do have a pen that you like, as long as it has a solid um, clip here, you can drop that down in. Obviously, it does make it a little bit longer than the normal size flashlight, but just to show you, a bunch of your own accessories can be uh, you know, slid into this little side loop to carry as part of your kind of wallet system. Now, I do want to show you here, this is basically like a panel. Here's the M Gear. This is M Gear. Dot io panel which you could pop this one out i don't know if you can see it here but that actually presses down in and you can replace it with this one if you wanted to do so so another option there let me show you some of the uh the gear i've got in here so i've got one of their let's get their wallet survival cards or wallet multi-tools i'll hold this up a little bit closer so we got box opener inch rule key ring bottle opener protractor wing nut spanner fish scaler uh wire stripper you have a tiny little um screwdriver here scraper so you can see we got a little bit of, of a file on this side as well. Can opener, centimeter ruler. Yeah, I mean, just a lot of little tools. You got a, a straw, a saw, a saw, not a straw down here, which obviously doubles as your fish scaler. But simple little item, but slide that into your wallet. Now you got that. There's another item you could put in there. Got a Fresnel lens, obviously for magnification, fire starting. They've got a little card here. Again, this is from M Gear. A little card here for um, conversion and measurement. Then I've got a couple of my own cards in here, like I got a um, couple gift cards from different places that I slid into here. And so basically what you have is kind of a tension system, like a lot of these more compact wallets that when you slide this in, let's see if I can do this all at once, slide these items in, yeah, there's basically a tensioner. It's going to lock in on the bottom so they won't fall out. And, you know, these things are not, you got to really shake them to get them to start sliding out. So that's that's slick, you know, obviously if you carry like 50 cards, not going to work for you, but that's what it actually looks like to, uh, to uh, you know, put some cards in there. And obviously for me, it would be ID, credit card, let's see, debit card, driver's license, you know, maybe a medical card, something like that. So, but I don't want to make all that information public on the internet. So that's what that looks like. 
All right, what I'm gonna do now is actually take you through the process. I'm looking at my computer screen here, Mgear Gadget Wallet 3.0, that's where we are. We're gonna scroll down to the, right here, build your wallet, so I click on that. First option is do you want the black or do you want the silver? Let's pick silver for this one. So I click on that. Now you can see that I've got that silver frame. Scroll down, Mgear logo. So um, swappable plate for five, five bucks. So I can have a green one here, yellow, here's the red, there's blue, and then you have another uh, swappable front plate design. So let's say I wanna go with the Punisher style, right? Front plate texture, we got a couple different options here. Carbon fiber, background, I mean, just a lot of different ways you can do it. Now, those are running different prices from like five bucks up to 15. Then you get down to the custom uh, plate where you're gonna upload your own image, which is what I did. That's 35 bucks. So make sure you have a high quality image, send it to them, and then they can do something like this. So this is kind of like a cool samurai thing. That's like a compass. Let's uh, let's just pick this one that we've got, go to next here. Now we're gonna talk about accessories. So you can do right side or left side, 15 bucks, mini LED flashlight. There's the pr price for that. So let's do left side accessory. Let's see if we can do this here. This guy right here, now you see it up, up here over here. Scroll down. You could do a mini bolt action pen, which is gonna be a smaller, kind of tighter loop. Um, I basically swapped that out for this. Let's go down here. Let's see, how about a storage tube over on the other side? Click on that. Now you can see I've got a storage tube over there. Let's scroll down a little bit more here. So 66% done. Let's go to next. What inner accessories do I want? So let's say, um, let's get a measuring card and we'll get one of these. And I think it's a USB drive. Let's throw that in there. Click next. So now it's all customized. Tells me what I have here. Here's the total price. Now, obviously that price has gone up a big chunk because of that, of the tools and then also the um, customize plate. But I'm getting a pen, a totally customized thing, carbon fiber with aluminum, flashlight or accessory tube. You know, so that's, that's kind of how you're going to work through the process. And then you're going to obviously click on it to buy it. Let's go back to shop here, and then we'll go to wallets. Go to the basic wallet. And we're gonna build a wallet, and let's just do something super simple. We'll just stick with this. None, 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 none. We don't want a custom thing. Go here. So nothing customizable at this point, just pretty simple. Let's add, let's just skip all the accessories. Let's just keep, keep it as it is. Go here and we'll skip all the extra things. And you're looking at 50 bucks, right? So everything beyond that, you're gonna be adding some extra money, but pretty slick when you think about it, that you can, you know, get this thing totally customizable. I love the idea. Um, I basically said, you know, hey, send me one that you think could be cool. I love the idea of a tube on both sides, you know, so you got your cards, you got a, um, a pen and then a flashlight. That's a nice little EDC system that you got set up there. All right, guys, so beyond this wallet, Mgear, um, again, their website is mgear.io, and they have tons of EDC gear. They have just a lot of different things available. So if you're into EDC gear, little gadgets, things like that that are actually functional, right? Just not just like pieces of garbage you're gonna carry around in your pocket, but actually functional items. These gear, these guys have a lot to often, uh, offer. I have their Bolt Action Pen as well. I've checked out some other, other gear from them in the past, but this is definitely my favorite item so far. Um, yeah, I just think it's pretty slick. Now you can see you got this carbon fiber thing here. If you wanted to add another, um, accessory tube or something like that, you can remove these and then I th I'm 99% sure you can just add your own if you want to order it after the fact. So that's pretty slick. So check that out. Customized wallet from M Gear. Really nice. Check out their website down below. If I can get any discount codes, you'll see that in the description section as well. But yeah, customizable wallet from M Gear. Liking that a lot. So uh, let me hear your thoughts. What do you think about this? If you've had other gear from them, offer some thoughts and feedback as well. Let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.